In this video, I'd like to do some example problems regarding ionization energy. And I'll do some problems from OWL 28B. Use a periodic table to arrange the following elements in order of increasing ionization energy. So silicon, sodium, argon, aluminum. They seem to be scattered around. Let's see where they are. Silicon, sodium, argon, and aluminum. Well, they seem to be scattered around, but the important thing is they're all in the same period. And as discussed before in the what is ionization video, as you move across a period, electrons are added to the atom. And as electrons are added to the atom, it's more difficult to pull the electrons away from the atom. Therefore, the ionization energy would increase as you go across a period, or across the periodic table. So, for example, the ionization of chlorine is much greater than the ionization of magnesium or sodium because the electrons are closer into the nucleus. The reason for that is there's more nuclear pull. There's more protons, as much as there's more electrons, there's more protons attracting the electrons towards the nucleus. Therefore, the electrons are harder to take away. So let me remind myself what those atoms are. Silicon, sodium, argon, aluminum. Okay, sodium is way out in the left in group 1A. Argon is way out to the right in group 8A. So silicon aluminum, let's find their position. Aluminum, aluminum is before silicon, so if the trend uh, is consistent, that means sodium would have the lowest, sodium the next lowest, silicon higher, and argon the highest. Let's try that answer. And in fact, that trend is consistent and therefore the answer to the question we provided is correct. And there's nice feedback that will provide you. In this problem we have atoms that are in the same group. Specifically, this is group 2A. And let's find where these atoms are located in that group. It's beryllium's up at the top, barium's at the bottom, relatively speaking, and the other two are in between. Now, the trend for ionization energy in a group is that as one travels down a group, the ionization energy decreases. That is because as one travels down the group, you're changing period, you're increasing the period. And as one increases the period, you're adding another layer or another level of electrons. And each layer that's added is further away from the nucleus. And electrons that are further away from the nucleus require less energy to be removed, therefore less ionization energy. So with that knowledge, let's go back and answer the question. So barium would have the lowest ionization energy, and beryllium, because it's up at the top, would have the highest ionization energy. And in fact, that trend is consistent and can help us answer the question. 